I'm bad. You are bad, bad to the bone. And we're so stoked to have you back in the Valley. Are you Karen? Yes. Well, I can see why a lot of men are caring about you. Uh, <laughs> I like it. I like, you like it. it? <laughs> <laughs> no charge. <laughs> Thank you. Because <laughs> I'm broke. So, <laughs> I uh, I want to say that you were just here in November. You can't stay away from the Valley. You love us. And, and now you're back less than a year later with Sammy. How is the tour going? Oh, fantastic. Uh, this is a popular guy, this Sammy Hagar. I'm finding yeah. that out. Yeah, you're, you know, people, few people know you too, I'd like to say. You know, there's a few people. You'd like to say that. <laughs> yes, well, I would. Well, I'd like you to say it to a lot of people, Karen. <laughs> well, I'm Thank here you. to say that to the whole valley. Uh, do you get any time, do you guys ever have time just to mess around when you come to town or, or is it on to the next thing? I was Sammy. <laughs> it, was, it was Sammy. The party never stops. Okay. Uh, he, he's when he does have the time to come up for air, <laughs> so to speak. Um, he's um, it, what time, what little time he has. He's a busy man. Um, he, he, he never stops. He never stops to have time out. To, um, you know, give me, um, give me the most of what he's got. Well, what about you when you're doing your stuff outside of that? Like in November, do you get to to do anything in, in the city that you're touring in? Or do you come back to vacation because you saw something you thought was really cool? Does that kind of thing ever happen? Vacation. You? <laughs> <laughs> come on. You, you are a road warrior, man. I cannot get over how many years you have been on the road and it's, you're still going so strong. It's amazing. No, 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 yeah, people make a thing of that. I'm, I'm, I'm no different than the average working bum, you know, than the other working musicians have put in their time and their years on, on doing this as, as much as I, or and some of them much more. Um, so it, 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 this band or myself has the, the image of this band that's always on the road, always working. Well, that just isn't true. And we, we work very hard at what we do, but we have our, our time off and we don't say time off. I'll say time, not performing um, and traveling. Uh, but um, yeah, we, we, we do it, but not any more, any less than any other band. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, is that, but um, say, well, you know, people come and say, what do you do in your spare time? I said, I have no spare time. Karen, life is short. There's no such thing as spare time because there's no time to spare in right? your life. So you have to use every minute to do. So. I say, well, well, what do you do when you're not working? I said, you're going to be finding this surprising, but I use every minute or hour of my life doing something special that means something to me with somebody that's special to me or something that really means something to me or, or I sleep. Um, <laughs> or, because yeah, that's what that. I to me. I, I don't, I don't wither the way that the, the hours, um, cause you don't know how many hours you have. You don't and, know and how you many know what's, hours, huh? As, as you start to age and I, and I speak for myself here, as you start to age, you realize that more and more the clock is ticking and, and you have to get things done. Let's back up to people that are special because I've got to ask you about your daughter who I, who plays guitar. Did I read that right? Yeah. Yeah, she does. That's She's awesome. smarter than I am. She was writing her own songs when she was like four years old. Wow. Is that, do you think that's because she was around you? No, nah, she's a natural. It would have happened anyway. You know what? You know, she's, she's the only one that plays Jumpin' Jack Flash properly. She, if you watch the video when Brian Jones plays Jumpin' Jack Flash on the video from 1968, she, and she, no one taught her this. I don't know how she did. She plays, uh, she uh, plays the formation of the chord, the B chord on the low end of the neck, like Brian Jones did. And nobody showed her that. Wow. Uh, how she figured that out, I don't know. And that's not an easy formation to play it in. Yeah. And that's how he did it. And that's how she does it. And she's so, what, in her 20s now? Yeah. Yeah. Does she ever come out with you? Or does she have better things to do? Well, I don't know. She has better things to do. She has other things to do. You know. Yeah. But she, yeah. She comes, checks me out and went out again and uh, jumps up on the bandstand. And uh, she came, she came and did a couple of gigs. And one time she came and, we were doing a, rehear a rehearsal quote sound check and, and we, 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 she jumped up on the bandstand with our band and brought her guitar, 
So I took the lead vocal. I, I dropped the guitar and she took the rhythm guitar and I took the vocal. And uh, guess what song we did? Jump a Jap Clash. Right. How did you know that? <laughs> I'm so Aaron, smart. You're a genius. I, <laughs> I know. I know. You know really you got, your, your management was nice enough to let me introduce you at the Talking Stick Casino back in November when I was doing my show there live before. And yeah. uh, the, the fans are all eight. You know, you're. I find that even in classic rock radio, you know, when I'm picking up request lines, it's a multi-generational thing. Why do you think that is? Why do you think that 20 and 30 year olds love our, I say our music, this music so much that I, and you grew up on. I think that anything, anything that's good, people of any age are going to like it. I mean, uh, yeah. my, my daughter's uh, 21 and uh, 24 and she, um, she's crazy about the who. Now, the who came out in what, 1964? Right. Um, uh, she loves Eric Burden and the animals. Um, uh, she turns me on as songs by the Rolling Stones that came out on, on Goat's Head Soup that I never even heard of. Um, so good is good. Uh, you know, people, you, you can't sit there and say, um, well, to, to someone who's 18 years old, and they'll say, what are you doing reading Steinbeck? That's way before your time. Uh, what are you doing reading Dixon, Dickens or Mo that's Moby Dick? You know, it's a, yeah. it's a, that means nothing. I mean, something that's great is going to last. And if, if you're, if you have any kind of taste, you're going to be, you're going to find it or it's going to find you. So uh, age means nothing when it comes to something that's, that's really, that's really fantastic. I mean, there's people right now, right where we sit, you and I are, who are probably 20 years old, who are seeing on the waterfront for the first time. And they're going to think it's fantastic. Why? Yeah. Because it is. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's pretty cool to walk into Target and see, you know, T-shirts in the junior department with like the Who and Aerosmith on them. I mean, it, it's, it's cool to see that. Um, I want to talk about something that's outstanding. And that was the original George Thorogood album that dropped. It's if you love George Thorogood, this is the album you have to have because it has your hits. It has everything you wrote. It has something, uh, well, Born in the Not USA everything. is on it. Some Not everything. It. You're right. <laughs> but it is a double, is it a double vinyl? Did I well, read that right? Two of them. One of them has, yeah, you're right. Correct. I stand corrected. Um, one of them has, a, 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 well, they're all originals, but there, there's another one that has some extra ones on, on it. Some, and, some more. And there, it says that there's a limited edition orange translucent vinyl. And that is so cool. Whoever your marketing people are. I love that. I remember having colored vinyl. It was the coolest thing ever. Well, if there's anybody in this world who's translucent, it's yours truly. <laughs> yes, you are. Do you still own vinyl? And if so, tell me what's in your collection. My my record collection, um, uh, unfortunately, got lost um, in a, in a in an accident. A water pipe broke in my uh, my pad uh, back east and destroyed all my records. Um, but, but that's okay because I had to listen to them all a thousand times anyway. So I don't I don't own a record player anymore anyway. So I had listened to them so many times. I said, well, I really don't have any any use for them anymore. So, you know, most yeah. of the records I listened to in those days, most of the time um, from from a time, oh, from 1970 on were purely for research anyway, when I was learning the guitar and I was researching for material or how to learn how to write songs, things like that. Yeah. So once that uh, once I was got got rolling, um, I really had no use for the records anymore anyway, except for some of the uh, early Rolling Stones records uh, because um, I wanted my hair to look like Keith Richards. <laughs> yes. <laughs> those, those I kept. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. And I still do. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you do. You are so awesome. You have so much energy. People are so stoked here in Phoenix to see you come back again. And what a great double bill. It is Wednesday night at Auction Pavilion. Great outdoor venue. Um, thank you so much for taking time and, and for doing it on Zoom. I really appreciate that. Well, I'm going to really be digging that because it's going to be uh, the um, for the uh, for, for St. Mary's. You know, for the uh, for those people which uh, who deserve it, we gotta. But let's let's talk about the top priority here. Let's talk about what's really important. So I wanted had to get that in there. I'm glad that's you part, did. Yes, that's part of the deal there. So uh, as we all you know keep in mind about, uh, well, we're very fortunate people and give somebody a chance who never had a chance. Know what I mean?
I totally know what you mean. Yes. And and with what we just went through in the last couple of years here, I think we've all figured out new realities to everything. So, um, well, it's true. You. It's not, you know, you think about these things and say, well, we need your help now more than ever. People need help all the time. Yeah. You know, it's just not one time. It's, it's, it's happening all the time and it always will be. So we got to keep that in mind. Help is always needed. You got a big heart. And you're such a cool dude. Thank you so much for talking to me today. And we'll see you when you get here Wednesday. I'm doing my show again out there. So maybe we'll run yeah. into each other. Karen, care alike. <laughs> Take care.